Hello and welcome to another edition of A Vogel's Menopause Mondays and today I'm going to talk about the symptom of dryness in the menopause. Now this can cause all sorts of health issues and it can affect lots of different areas of the body and we know that falling oestrogen can actually dry out the mucous membranes in the body and the mucous membranes are basically anywhere where there's any moistness present so we know um, the vagina is one area the mouth is another area as well but they're, they're, they're all different situations in the body some more well known than others so I thought I would just go through them all today now vaginal dryness is probably the most uh, common one it's the one that that's known most of all uh, as well what happens here is that is that estrogen actually triggers the cervix to produce um, a specific mucus and this mucus helps the vagina in lots of different way it helps to support the friendly bacteria there which are very important for keeping infection at bay the mucus also helps to keep the vagina walls plump elastic and supple so when this mucus starts to dry up it can cause a number of symptoms in the vagina it can affect the friendly bacteria so you can end up getting infections um, like thrush it can also then trigger um, bladder infections um, as well the lack of mucus can also um, cause the vagina wall to become less elastic it can become a lot thinner it can become a lot more brittle and this is where a lot of the problem lies because in this particular area it's going to have a huge effect on your sex life and that in turn can also affect the the relationship with your partner and it's amazing how many women actually come to us and they're um, just in, in, in tears because of th this particular problem causing anxiety and, and relationship issues um, so this is a very important one to look at and, and to try and, and sort as well we've got our digestion and we know that falling estrogen can affect the digestion all the way down and it's amazing how many women of menopausal age will go to their doctors because they're getting a lot of indigestion they're getting a lot of um, stomach ache they're getting gastric reflux and they're being put on stomach medication when in fact it is actually the menopause that's causing this the menopause will also slow down the transit time in, in, in the gut and that can cause bloating here it can cause constipation um, it, it can cause wind as well and for some women too they actually get a lot of tightness um, up, up at the throat area and they can have difficulty swallowing as well and that can just be due to um, oestrogen having an effect on, on this particular area. The eyes can be affected and this is one that, that women don't of, often realise. Um, the eyes can become a lot drier, they can become more irritated, they can become red and the, the reduction of, of um, mucus and, and hydration can actually affect your sight as well and a lot of women find that menopausal age is a time when suddenly they, they realise that they, they can't thread a needle anymore and, and they actually need, uh, they, they need glasses. So it, it's actually, this is actually a really important one if you notice anything going on with your eyes then it is very important to actually get this check out with your optician and remember to tell them that you're going through the menopause so that they can actually uh, take that into account. Your mouth can become very dry and this can cause a lot of problems. It can affect your speech and it can actually affect uh, the way that, that you chew your food too and it's very uncomfortable we all know the odd time we end up with a dry mouth it, it's a very uncomfortable feeling you can also get inflamed gums and a lot of women find that at this particular time they get pain in their teeth or that they start to get gum infections inflamed gums bleeding gums in the menopause is, is, is a really common um, symptom uh, as well you can also get something called geographical tongue and the tongue gets very very sore very very and inflamed too so anything that's going on in the mouth here good idea is to go and get this checked out by your dentist and just to remind them that you're actually going through um, the menopause a, a really good thing if you're getting the inflamed and bleeding gums is a supplement called CoQ10 and be aware too that a lot of toothpaste are absolutely jam-packed full of chemicals and these are not going to help your gums if, if they're really tender so um, I actually found for me this this was one of my um, symptoms was that um, a natural neem toothpaste was, was one of the best things to, to actually help with, with my gums 
Your sinuses can also be affected as well and a lot of women find at this time that especially in the winter they start to get blocked sinuses, they get a lot of pain and discomfort and they can get the sinus um, headaches as well very often you can get more infections you can sneeze a lot more you can also end up with a with allergies which you you didn't have before the menopause so all these things can, can uh, affect uh, the, the immune system and your immune system's ability to cope with, with infection um, too we've got skin oh and don't we know it our, our skin can get so dry we end up with extra wrinkles we can get the really dry patches on the elbows and, and the knees and um, we can get itchy skin that's another thing that comes very much with, with the, the, the dryness um, and of course we start to notice those little wrinkles in, in the mirror as well which tend to make us very unhappy too. We've got the lungs and again I spoke about this just a, a few weeks ago how oestrogen can uh, affect the, the mucus lining of the lungs, it can lead to wheeziness, it can lead to shortness of breath, you may find that you can't exercise for as long before you actually um, get out of puff and that can make you much more vulnerable to lung infections such as um, bronchitis uh, too so it, it's a very important one to, to watch the lungs. Um, so what can you do about all the, these issues of dryness because you, you might only get one symptom or you might find that you actually get a combination uh, of these particular issues. One of the best things as long as it's appropriate for you is you can try to very gently raise your oestrogen levels so you can look at herbs such as black cohosh, you can look at fermented soya such as in uh, our menopause support because these will just very gently raise and, and balance your oestrogen levels and, and that can help to minimize uh, the, the dryness that, that's going on. You can also look at a supplement called sea buckthorn oil or omega-7. This is a great one for um, keeping your skin looking well and um, there's a lot of research on it in actually helping with vaginal dryness um, as well it can help dryness of the mouth and dryness of the eyes too so it's one that's certainly uh, worth looking into the other thing is is just to make sure you're getting enough good fats in in your diet because again as I'm always saying it you know as women we, we want to look trim and menopausal women are forever going on diets and it's really not good for you especially if you're cutting your fats down because these fats are needed uh, to keep your, your skin healthy too so healthy fats are, are a really important part of a good diet and remember the water that's going to make such a difference very very quickly so it's your one and a half litres of plain water a day and remember as always that tea coffee fizzy drinks and fruit juices don't count it needs to be plain water to get the best benefit so I hope that gave you a little bit of a, an insight into all the different areas of our body that can actually be affected by the falling oestrogen. And I will look forward to seeing you again next week for another edition of A. Vogel's Menopause Mondays.